love that you're here. You yeah, know, no, thank you, you so you've much. Um, you've taken the work that you do to to the top level. I'm very sort of flattered, humbled, and very proud to be here because my memory is still winning the second year competition, second year <laughs> assistant competition, and having to go on stage at the Grosvenor House to get my award from you. I'm going to ask you first a, a bit about the journey of where you come from yeah. because I know you. You live in Japan a lot of the time, but before we go there, how did your career in hairdressing start? Yeah, I mean, I was, you know, I'm from Birmingham. Um, I wasn't in a family that were from hairdressers. Well, my dad worked in the diamond tool industry. My mum actually just worked as a receptionist at an old lady's salon in Birmingham. So after school, while I would wait for it to finish, I'd be sitting there and looking at the old deers under the hood dryers with the rollers, and I just... I don't know, it was just something that drew me in. And um, I started working just as a shampoo boy uh, at a little salon in Birmingham. And then obviously got exposed to the wonderful world that you created with, with Tony and Guy and uh, getting the opportunity as a, an assistant to start there. And I remember walking there just like, I was like, oh my God, wow. You know, it's constant inspiration. And uh, you'd always have the, in the reception when I wasn't washing somebody's hair, there'd be the, TV screens playing with all the shows of all the fashion shows, the McQueen shows and Yoji Yamamoto. So I'd sit there and then I sort of saw this other world of the hairdressing and obviously through the art team that you had and came down to work with you guys um, at some of the Salon International. Right. So right. that, that was the start of it. It was this sort of other side of of salon work that was just more very dynamic and spontaneous and everybody's backstage, you know, like cutting wigs and it was like the energy that I loved. I thought, wow, this is, this is, this so is. So you, you took that route, session work. Uh, when did you know, you know, we're kind of telling us how you got to that, but how did that move itself along? Tell us that kind of, when that started, that journey. I just remember, um, saying to my mum one day, mum, I'm going to move to London. She's like, well, you've not planned for this. I'm like, I don't need to. I, this is, this is, I'm going to do it. If, if it doesn't work, I, I'll, I'll come back. But I've got to try. And uh, I was very lucky enough to meet Malcolm, Malcolm Edwards. That's right. Um, That's right. He had a big part in, in the sort of injecting me into the world of session through kind of assisting him at London Fashion Week and going with him to Milan and Paris and working on shows. So all of a sudden I was sort of thrown into this kind of arena and uh, I just it just it just fed me I just I couldn't get enough so when I came out of it I missed it and I was very fortunate enough to meet uh, Katie Grant who was uh, you know a very big um, stylist editor yeah. of uh, you know now Love magazine but pop before yeah. and um, she was very she's really incredible at giving new people opportunity so I think I owe a lot to her too yeah, for giving great. me that sort of opportunity in, yeah. in, in magazines and also giving me my first show. <laughs> Having to find your hand, I think as hairdressers, it is a craft, it's like a signature, it's like a painter, you put your name, you know, you, your hands tell a story and, um, you know, you, it's expressive and it takes a long time. I think you, you never really get there, it's only through working with, you know, great teams of people that you sort of start to find it. We can see it in the work that, that you're doing there. You've got a massive, a really powerful signature. Yeah, you know, thank you. You can yeah, see yeah. it's you. I mean, what, what are you up to now? What, what is the thing that you're really enjoying now? A big thing of my career at the minute is the Gucci thing that I'm on yeah. with Alessandro and Michele. And I think like, there's not many sort of collaborations now with sort of designer and hairdressers. You know, you had Guido with Lee yeah. McQueen. You had Eugene with Yoji, you know, Julianne with Comme des Garçons. And I feel like I'm so lucky to have that relationship now with a designer that really, he, he wants hair. It's, it's yeah. as important as the clothes. Yeah. And it's so, I feel so lucky that I'm on this sort of path with him at the moment where he's so kind of open to hair and it's so exciting at being a hairdresser. I mean, what you're saying about Gucci is so exciting because, you know, just doing, mixing up all that hair is brilliant. Well, your love with Japan, tell us about that, because there, it seems that you have a love with Japan. Yeah, um, I think, um, yeah. I, mean, I know you married someone that's Japanese, My right? wife's Japanese, yeah. you, know, I have, you know, we have a four-year-old son, um, Arlo, together, and, um, you know, he's just learning Japanese. I don't know, there's just something about the, the, the culture there that just, um, I've always been fascinated by the designers that are from there. There's, there's just, uh, they take it to another level of precision. When they do something, they do it to an nth of it, a yeah. degree, you know, you, you walk around Tokyo and there's boys with like orange hair all chopped up and ironed and wearing makeup. It's just like, 
it's a lot for some people, but it's the fearlessness that I think we miss a bit now. My dream was always to always work with David Sims, who is my idol hero. And the, the 25 years of him and Guido, what they did together was, is still so prolific. And then that opportunity when I got to work with him, spent six years working with him, I learned so much about beauty and how hair gave a character. It was an identity. It was a game that you never took off. The clothes you take off, you can't take off the hair. And uh, I learned a lot working in a studio with him so that when I went to do shows, yeah. you know, you're, you're, it's like a performance, a hairdresser. You know, you walk into some design teams and they've got the design team there with the design and the stylist and you have your two models and you send them out with a look and they look, mm, yeah, I like it. And then all of a sudden they want you to do and being involved like with Dave and how he works so kind of organic, yeah. you, I became just, it was intuitive. I, I reacted to what I saw. So you'd, rather than sort of taking them back and sitting them down in the mirror for another hour, yeah. you'd do it there, or do you like this? You're like, it, yeah. And you go through them and all of a sudden they're like, wow, you've, you, you're, you're giving them something, you're taking them on a journey. What advice would you give someone who wants to do this kind of role and be in a session worker? I would just say, the same, I think, Kill it. I think, yeah, I think Walt Disney said, if you can dream it, you can do it. And I think like, I love hair. I, it's, I, I, I wake up and think about it, I dream about it. I mean, I think I drive my wife and son crazy sometimes about it. But I think in whatever you do, if you love it, it comes through, you know? And um, I still remember, you know, moving to London and going to do tests with a broken suitcase that the wheels didn't work, getting on the tube. But I wanted it, and I like. And when you want it, you, you'll do anything for it. Probably, maybe at the beginning, I sacrificed a lot of my family time and you know friendship. But you know, hopefully now, there's, a, there's a, hopefully they're proud, and um, you know now it's time to sort of give back. You know, and I just all the people that want to go on it, I just say just 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 go for it. You know, just have fun with it. Have fun. That's the thing. I think at the moment people are. It's a little bit pretentious, it's too serious, it's, this is the trend. There isn't a trend. It, it's about having fun and finding and dreaming and through your mistakes you find the beauty, you know, and um, I just think... I'm inspired just you listening to you. It's fantastic. You. Thank you very much. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. I feel so kind of honoured. I'm, you know, a 16-year-old kid from Birmingham at the shampoo section watching videos of you, like cutting hair, and then here I am now sitting to you, talking to you about my career. It's a little bit surreal, but um, through, you know, through what you gave to the hairdressing world, that you made people dream. And uh, so I owe a lot to the... Yes, that's very sweet. The yeah. you know, for me, I'm, I'm still very proud to be a hairdresser. Yeah, yeah. But I like giving back, you know. But, yeah. uh, you know, to, for people to get to your level, have got to have that dedication that and that talent and then you know not everyone's got that i'll say that right now but you certainly do thank you very much so thank well you. Thank absolutely you. brilliant <laughs>